Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. There's a lot of hoopla going around the internet as of late in video games and TV movies and whatnot that is theorizing there's a campaign going on for the uglification of women, the masculinization almost of female characters in video games, the desexualizing of women in movies and TV shows. And at one point, it felt a little hyperbolic, a little over the top. It's like, well, maybe that's not happening. Maybe these people are incompetent and don't know what they're doing. But as time goes on over and over, one example after another, after another, after another, after another, after another to a point where it just gets so tiresome that it's very difficult to ignore, where classic video game characters are being changed, they're... For women, these female characters, they're not doing anything to the men. The men are nice and big and buff in all kinds of different ways. They're not touching them, but the women, for some bizarre women, bizarre women, they, well, they are definitely looking like bizarre women. For some bizarre reason, you're seeing body parts, skin being covered up over and over with multiple layers of clothing. Women don't look like women. They look like, well teenage boys to say just to be honest with you a changing of the jawline the eyes the facial structure the breast size not only covering it up but flattening a woman's chest um straightening out the hips giving them giving the women less curves and less uh adjusting posture to pretty much stand up straight like a plank of wood it's becoming more and more noticeable and well Today, today, Niantic decided to drop their lovely little patch on Pokemon Go. When this news first rolled out a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, I thought to myself, nah, they can't possibly be new in this. I've been, I downloaded Pokemon Go in 2016. Good Lord, it's been around for a long time. A lot of people, the craze was amazing. Everyone got out and started walking around and a few people were stupid and got hit by cars. But I always played female characters. If you've been hanging around on my channel when I talk about video games, I just have a tendency of playing female characters. The voices are preferable. After And it's not really, honestly, it's not a sexual thing because World of Warcraft, the Forsaken, female mage, that was my main for a very, very long time. And honestly, if there's anyone getting aroused by that, um, you need to seek some help. Like, do it now. But anyway... My off main was a, my secondary main was a Forsaken Warrior two-handed axe. Anyway, it's just what I've always done. If given the option, you know, not always, I guess, but I digress. I just prefer, especially in Cyberpunk, the female voice actress over the male voice actor. Oh, night and day difference. Couldn't stand it. Anyway, I took a screenshot of my character a few weeks ago. And I posted it. I was like, well, they're not doing anything yet. Well, today, lo and behold, oh my goodness, holy crap. The the posture, it is absolutely ridiculous, but let's get into this article, because not too many people are happy about this, and it's a bunch of women who aren't happy about this. Park Place, John F. Trent. Pokemon Go players demand Niantic. They're not going to. We all know that. They have an agenda. It's hard to ignore nowadays. Ah, demands Niantic reverse newly rolled out avatar changes. Why y'all make them make everybody ugly? And boy, there's just no denying it anymore. Many of them are pointing out how ugly their avatars are and are demanding Niantic revert the changes. Niantic announced the avatar. This was back when we have a date on this April 17th. So wait. That was yesterday, where they announced, let's see, trainers, your avatar can now look even more like you. I don't want my characters to look like me. The video games I play, again, they're power fantasies. They are escapism. That sounds kind of weird considering if saying that because I play female. Um, moving on. It's escapism. Get away from the home, the, the doldrums of life. The depression, anxiety that people go through. They come home, get their little escapism, play their video game, take a break from the real world. And you're trying to make everybody look like themselves? Like, make... That's just... No. People don't want to do that. As a whole, the majority, we don't want to do that. 
In a blog post, the company detailed both your avatar options and the style shop have also received updates, allowing you to express yourself with more customization options than ever before, except for the fact that you cannot make your character look like it did before this patch. There are no options for that. And one thing I noticed with my avatar, the shirt I had, that my character had on before, was rather form-fitting, not revealing, it just fit. Well, after this patch, that shirt was now probably two sizes too big, went down below the waist to the point where the belt that my character was wearing kept clipping through the shirt. No longer form-fitting. Of course, not that that would have mattered because the avatars no longer, at least the female avatars, no longer have an actual form. At least nothing resembling a female form. Let's see, the company added, express yourself like never before with a range of new avatar customization options in Pokemon Go. Unless you want it to look like it did before. Personalize your avatar with adjustable body weights, eye color, and skin tones, plus new facial expressions, blah, blah, blah. Trying to soften the blow as far as I'm concerned. Keep an eye out for additional updates. Ah, numerous players were not happy. Summer, oh, summertime loving. Hey, I can read without vowels. Please change it back. This update is just as bad as the remote nerfs, remote raid nerfs. Y'all, please change it back. People are not happy. If they don't change it back within one month, I won't be playing. Full disclosure, I deleted the game today. Don't play it anymore. I had recently uploaded it. I had recently re-downloaded it. I was having a good time. I was catching Pokemon all over the place. Going to different, uh, different gyms and... Having a good old time. Gotta catch them all. Now, today, mm, deleted. Not going back. Sorry. I went out with. I went without it before. I can go without it again. I have more than enough nonsense to keep me busy. I can't stop laughing looking at everyone's hideous avatars. 11 out of 10 joke. And this, this right here, is the main thing we're talking about. The posture. The facial structure. The jawline. The skin tones that have been changed. Almost like they kind of started whitewashing these characters. People don't, like... Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Women don't stand like this. They don't. It's just... Posture. At least most women I know don't really stand like that. They... The widening of the torso. The narrowing of the hips. This... The one on the left compared to the one on the right is night and day. And of course, you know, a little reduction in the, you know. My goodness, now I look like a lesbian. Help. Oh, goodness gracious me. Hey, uh, you're about to run out of battery power there. I'm not trying to be toxic, but what is this weird potato-shaped body going on here? Uh, why y'all make everybody ugly? Lots of people have responded. We are not androgynous. That is an unfortunate part of what looks to be an agenda being pushed by numerous video game companies. They're trying to make male and female characters look more and more similar every single iteration to the point where maybe one day you won't be able to tell them apart desexualizing both male and female. Why on earth would we, any of these game companies want to do this? Comparing, I think one of the protests that people are doing, they're putting masks over their characters' faces, which is not going to do anything, because if you continue to play the game, then Niantic, they'll still get their money. Pokemon will still get their money. They'll still get their numbers, their advertising, and all that other stuff. If you want to protest, you're just going to have to delete the game. Stop playing. Show them that you actually do not want to play these games. Hmm. Please tell me how you think the new Avatar looks better in any way. It doesn't look better. There's no argument with this. My good. This look... Wow. Just the bagginess of the clothes is ridiculous. Ah, uh, current solution until the update is reverted. Okay. Cover up with as much as humanly possible. But again... They will not care because you're still playing level 46, 18. Wow. As long as you're still playing, they still get the numbers that they like to see. Oh, so natural looking. I love it when my flesh clips through my clips through my clothing. So not only did they uglify the avatars, but they can't even get the clipping correctly. 
That's a tad bit ridiculous. Revert! Go back! Delete! Go fest ticket may be wasted because I'm not going if my avatar remains weird as fuck. I don't know what the GoFest ticket is. I guess that's something to do with Pokemon Go. Editing her was impossible, so I had to cover her up in as many clothings as possible. People are not happy about this. I'm not reading that one. Sorry. Learning the Law had something to say about this. Let's see. Who we got here? Ah, user... Mangalawyer. There we go. Pokemon Go company is ESG approved. 2024 changes. Change the... Visceral cranium of the female. Remove chest. Well, I wouldn't say remove it. They just kind of flattened it out a little bit. Oh, let's see. Modify hips. Expand chin. Broaden the shoulders. Delete makeup. My goodness. The industry has been pushing androgyny specifically oriented to male features for years. They hate women. I know what this sounds like, but more and more instances of this happening across the video game industry and, of course, in the entertainment and TV and movies, it is so very difficult to ignore anymore. It's a lot of channels are talking about it. A lot of people are talking about it, blasting it all over social media. And I do believe more and more people need to be talking about this. The argument against this has been has been put it out. Oh, you just have a porn addiction. It has nothing to do with the porn addiction. I could never understand. Nothing could ever make sense on how you got to that conclusion. That's like Olympic level pole vaulting to that sort of conclusion. Like uh, Grand Canyon levels of reaching across. It has nothing to do with wanting an attractive character in a video game in entertainment has nothing to do with porn. It has to do with Wanting to see something that is aesthetically pleasing. Sex sells. Beauty sells product. You cannot stop that from happening, no matter how hard you push this androgynous, this just plank of wood in entertainment. Fight back against it. Close your wallets. Delete the game. Stop giving these companies that hate you, that hate beauty, whether it's male or female. They hate it all. That's how it's coming across, and there's no more denying it. Let your voice be heard, close your wallet, stop supporting this nonsense, and we'll see where it goes. Look for the independent games, the ones who actually care about the customer and won't insult you, and will not insult your intelligence. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike, do all those different little things that YouTubers beg you to do, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.